We're Kels and Jay, and we converted a school bus into our very own tiny home on wheels. We're taking it all around America, with our baby Pippa, of course. Come along for the ride as we try to adventure in all 50 states. Let's get out, can leave this city. Last week, we found ourselves broken down for the second time in three months. Stranded on the side of the road for a few days while we waited for a tow, we were feeling down until some familiar faces were passing through. Knight in shining armor right now. They stayed by our side as we watched Bessie get towed to a campground who we didn't exactly see eye to eye with from the very beginning. The tow truck just dropped us off in the campground where the lady at the gate was like, we don't take school buses. We finally were able to get a tow to a mechanic and after running tests on the bus for half the day, we got an estimate. We had no idea how we were going to be able to afford. When I was in the fourth grade, I'll never forget one of the basketball games that I played in. I got four fouls in the first quarter. I came out of the game sobbing. I thought that was it for me. My dad was the coach at the time and he came over to me and said, Kels, you have two options. You can either sit here, give up and cry, or you can go back in. If you foul out, you foul out, but you have to at least try. In this moment, it really felt like we both had four fouls in the first quarter, but we weren't out just yet. We gained our composure and looked at the quotes. We started by reaching out to anyone we could think of who had better knowledge of this than we did, which is pretty much everyone. We wanted to have more knowledge before going in and confronting the shop, or we wanted to at least look like we knew what we were talking about. The responses confirmed everything we had thought, so we started seeing what parts we could buy ourselves. We told the guys at the shop we wanted just the minimum done to get us back out on the road, and we were able to come to a much more reasonable estimate of $4,000. It still hurt, but it definitely hurt a lot less. As the mechanics tried fixing Bessie, we did our best to distract ourselves and try to stay positive. I was thinking we could try to make some pancakes. Wow. I've never made them before. <laughs> Installed. I'm just going to have lunch and he's going to get back to it, so we should be on the road by the end of play today. Hearing the news that we had just spent $4,000 and our bus wasn't fixed got us pretty down. Not only that, but we also were told we would need another thousand dollars to fix it. But we believe everything happens for a reason. We spent that weekend trying not to let that get us down and focusing on getting projects done that had been sitting around for a while now. We went for runs, we exercised, and finally took the time to look at our expenses and our income. We currently spend the most of our time working on our YouTube videos, but last month we made just $275. To put that into perspective, each video we make takes at least 10 hours to edit and 4 hours to film. That's 28 hours a week, or 112 hours for the month. We're making just $2.45 an hour. Now, we both love making videos. It's something we'll never stop doing and have done our whole lives. At this very moment in time, it just seems like we again have four fouls in the first quarter, and we're okay with that. It would probably make much more sense to give up and spend a lot of our time elsewhere, but we're going to keep going until we physically can't anymore. It's not about the money for us, it's about that one person who tells us our videos have been an inspiration to them. That means more than anything. So we kept coming up with other solutions. We had a lot of ideas, but none of them were immediate solutions. We still weren't sure how we were going to come up with the extra funds, and then this happened. We are hiding these next couple stories from Kelson J, so keep it a secret. We've all been there, we've all had hard times, and they 
they've kind of been hit thing after thing lately and they are always so positive and kind and they pour so much kindness into others and into the world and this is just an opportunity for the community to come together yet again and just shower that same kindness that they poured out um, back on them so um, even if you can just send them some encouraging words a dollar whatever it is um, let's go shower them with kindness The community came together in a way that left us utterly speechless. What? Oh my god, you guys. Seriously, like, we are being bombarded with kindness and love right now from the school community and from all of our followers and subscribers. And it's just, like, overwhelming. We are going to try to list everyone who's donated or like just I'm, I don't even I'm at a loss for words right now because I know I'm waffling but this is just so amazing um, you guys are awesome we're this is the lift that we needed so what happened was Scott and Ashley from the Hive Drive asked us for our Venmo and we were reluctant to give it to them but they were very persistent <laughs> so we gave it to them and then we suddenly started getting just money in our Venmo from people that we had no idea how they got it. Obviously we kind of suspected them, um, but we just found out that they have been sending it out to people. Um, and it's just, it's so, so kind and generous. And we're, we've been sitting here all weekend kind of like trying to get money together. Um, we still don't know like the total cost of what everything's gonna be. So this is just like the lift that we needed. We will pay it forward. The one best day. community ever. <laughs> We promise we'll pay it forward when we are out of this hole that you guys are helping us out of. What goes around comes back around. <laughs> so thank I you guys. I told you. Thank hey. you. We will try to leave a list below. Thank you. Monday morning we woke up with a new energy fueled by the schoolie and van life community. We made our mechanic some magical pancakes. and he was pretty sure he found the other problem, a faulty relay. That's a good sound. Yes, it is. That sounds nice. So I think my suspicions were correct and I made magical pancakes and the mechanic was able to fingers crossed we're like 90% sure he was able to find the problem and we are feeling extremely grateful we're just blown away by you and this community and hopefully we will be out of here today which is super exciting super crazy our mechanic is on his lunch break so we will know soon what the dealio is Keep guys updated. So as we leave Bessie in the background, we're off to get a little bit of lunch. I actually lived in California for four months. The best thing is the wine and the burritos. So hopefully we'll be on the road soon. making sure everything's working properly. Let's go for a test drive. The test drive went well, and now we're waiting for the bill. I don't think there'll be any surprises. Just say a prayer, everyone. <laughs> Okay, the time has come. Bessie is all back up to full health. She's patched up. And, and we're leaving this place. Thank you to the guys here at Common Sales and Service. You've been great. It's time to get going. It's time to get going. As we drove away, ready to finally explore California, we had the biggest smiles on our faces. We may not know exactly what our future holds, but we can promise part of it involves finding a way to get back to this community. We are forever grateful. Well, we
I really hate pee, so this is, I can't even like be in the same area. So for any of you that are wondering about the nature's head composting toilet, if you pee too much, Jamie, your hair is literally like, oh I like it, we'll keep it, keep it rolling. If you pee too much, it overflows, and then emptying it goes something like this. Kelsey's leaving you with me because she can't stand the smell of pee. I'll put you down here. So you can get all up close and personal with the situation. So this has to get emptied. You don't empty it and you pee, it overflows. And then when you take it out, it goes something like this. I'm gonna pee on the camera. Ready? Alright, here we go. Oh. It's horrible. And then you lift. Then it overflows into the. Don't worry, all that stuff is not poo, it is pee moss. Alright, let's go take it out. Ooh. Ooh. Watch out, Pippa. Ooh. We'll dump it outside now, I'll see you in a minute. They just got it on my foot. That's how you empty nature's head composting toilet. The hard way. 